This is the picturesque Alpine village of Nave in the region of Savoie, where the local farmers and artisans still produce food in a very traditional way. Early every morning and at the end of each day, local Alpine farmer Max Cray skillfully milks his five cows by hand, as he has done for the last 50 years. Apart from his own family consumption, he transforms his milk into a handful of delicious Tom de Savoie cheeses that he matures for weeks in his cellars exactly in the same way as his parents and grandparents did. He also cures leg ham and shoulder ham that he dries to perfection in his loft at an altitude of 1300 meters. In the same village, the locals harvest dozens of wild foods, including many mushroom varieties. These morel mushrooms are found in the local forest and are on the menu of all the best restaurants. Down the valley, twice a week, the farmer's market of the small town of Moutier is a joy and displays all kinds of seasonal specialties. One of my daily treats when I'm in France is to eat a yogurt and this used milk yogurt from the Alps made with raw milk is absolutely outstanding. Oh, yum. Le Grand Fromage, the big cheese of the region is Le Beaufort, a 40 kilo cheese made with cow's milk, absolutely delicious. Then Le Bleu de Bonneval, very delicate blue, strong flavors but creamy. And then a very good range of goat milk, used milk and of course more cow's milk cheeses. The sausages and salami from the Alps are very rustic and very tasty, but none is more popular than the Pormonier, a pork sausage made with silver beet, cabbage and leek, and it is served poached with some potatoes and sometimes pasta. This delicious potato gratin is a great favorite with Alpine families. I cut one and a half kilos of potatoes into three millimeter slices and place them in a bowl with salt, pepper, and some freshly grated nutmeg. The dish is more delicate if the potatoes are cut evenly. I generously batter an oven-proof dish and place half the potatoes in the dish. I top with about 100 grams of grated Gruyere cheese. Then, cover with the remaining potatoes, taking time to make a regular pattern with the slices. I sprinkle the top with a generous amount of grated Beaufort cheese. Carefully pour one and a half cups of chicken stock in the dish and dot with a few knobs of butter before baking in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes, after which time I lower the heat to 150 degrees Celsius and cook for a further 45 minutes or until the potatoes are soft. Voilà le gratin savoyard, a wonderful winter dish. Day after day in our gourmet journey, I have seen some breathtaking landscape. And tomorrow it's no different when I visit a winery in the valley of the mighty Rhone River.